G'day. I'm speaking with Lance from Yamaha Motor Australia. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, we're talking about recreational vehicles. Talk to me about what we're looking at here. Oh, thanks, Ben. Well, we've got two uh, different markets, really, in, in what we have in the stand. We have our Pure Instinct, which is our camo vehicles, Wolverine, uh, Grizzly, ATV, and also our Viking uh, utility vehicle. Um, this Wolverine here is probably one of our most popular simply because it's a very comfortable vehicle but it's very capable as far as getting across rugged terrain but you know it, it does it really comfortably so that's why it's a, 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 a favourite with, with shooters and uh, four wheel drive. Uh, okay drives. so and now comparing that to the vehicle behind us here how do they differ? Okay well the YXZ behind us is our new uh, 100% pure sports vehicle. It's the only one of its kind in the world simply because it has a five-speed sequential shift manual gearbox. Now all the rest of the vehicles like some of the other side-by-side -side vehicles you see have a CVT drive which is basically a rubber band drive torque converter type setup where this is a direct drive manual clutch it's just like driving a, a race car. And speaking of race car comparative top speeds between the two? Well, top speed is probably something that we don't talk about uh, so much because it's not really compare, relevant. Yeah, it's not really relevant. Um, you do uh, cover the terrain a lot quicker on this one, but it's it's more open sort of terrain you have. But you know, these vehicles will do you know probably up to 100 kilometres per hour. But it's more about the sort of country you can cover. So when you speak about comfort level between the two, and this being the superior, why is that? Why is it more comfortable? Well, the the Wolverine has uh, bucket seats with. Um, uh, KYB shocks so it, it's, it does soak up the bumps a bit more. This is uh, a lot harder suspension simply because you know it, it will hit the bumps a lot harder so it has to be a little bit stiffer but at speed you know it's still a very comfortable drive compared to what you're, you're doing. Well, I was just going to say with the bucket seats and suspension it's nicer than my ute. Okay so <laughs> the other part over here then which we're going to go to in a moment is the three-seater. Now I really wasn't familiar with these how do they differ from the two-seater? Well the three-seater Viking they basically have the same uh, engine but the suspension is much better on the Wolverine. The Viking is more a utility vehicle. So it has a larger tray in the back that can say, uh, you know, take almost the size of a pallet. Um, and it also has a tilt tray. So it's a little bit more popular with the farmers where they've got a load in the back and they can load it up with rocks or sand. A, a, as opposed to more the hunting recreational vehicle, the farmer with the tilt yeah. tray and can carry anything they need to in the back yeah, there. exactly. And, and sorry, I was just going to say with the Wolverine, there's a great, some a great accessories that, come, uh, that you can get for it. Um, it can have a tub in the back so you can carry some equipment in there. Um, it does have uh, a camo rear screen, uh, lights, winch which you can also have on the Viking but you can also have a uh, five channel stereo system fitted to your Wolverine. Yeah, it's spectacular once yeah. again I'm driving one home I don't want my ute. Talk to me about the comparative sizes and weights of the, of the two vehicles. Uh, specifications um, well it, uh, that's probably something that I could give you a spec sheet for. But just it approximately is it, it looks twice as big is it twice as heavy? No it isn't no it isn't it's just slightly larger slightly wider so you can fit three abreast um, some hunters do prefer the Viking uh, simply because they can fit their dogs in there and sit up the front or in the back or they can take you know a couple of members of the family along. So if people want to find out more information about any of these vehicles how do they go about it? Well they can either go to their closest Yamaha dealer or they can go to our website www.yamaha-motor.com.au Fantastic. I absolutely recommend you do it. There's some amazing innovations in recreational vehicles. Thanks for watching.